Hey, it's Tommy. I'm going to show you how the video diff tool works and how we can use it to identify the difference between two video files. Now, if you're familiar with what a diff is, this is an example using two text files. So the diff is the compared difference between the text content of the two files. So each of these purple lines represents a line where something has changed from one file to the next. So here this says rule, where this one says style sheet. And if there are lines added, like these lines are not present in the original one, we'll see them in green. And if there happened to be any lines that had been removed from it, we would see them in red. So this is a useful way that you can quickly compare the difference between two files and safely ignore all the parts that are verbatim and completely identical between both of them. It's easy to diff text files. You can also diff folders of files to see if there's a structural difference or if a file is present or absent. And you can also diff still images. So here I have two images screenshotted from the same video just a second apart. And if we do the difference here, we can see that it's highlighted the pixels that are different between the two images. Unfortunately, I don't know of any tool that will do this for a video. So what I've done is I've built a page and on this page, we have two video tags. This allows us to link in two separate versions of a video file, and then we're able to compare them. And the magic happens right here. The video B has all of its colors inverted, and it's set to half transparent. So what that means is, on our original video, any pixel that's solid black on video B, if that pixel is also solid black, inverted that becomes solid white and set to 50% when you mix solid black and solid white 50% together you end up with gray now if you have a blue it's going to be the inverse of that so anywhere that there's two blue pixels you're going to see gray so here this is an example I've got the two videos overlaid on top of each other and there are just a few pixels different because of the different encoding artifacts if we were to play this video you can see that there's no real difference between them. But if we skim through the video, it may be that we can find a section where either they are delayed a little bit or where one thing is present in one video but absent from another. So I'm just gonna skim through until I see a difference. So here we have the same content but it's a little bit offset in time. This is where that tuning control comes in. This allows us to shift one of the videos a little bit either to add time to it or remove time to the current playback. So I'm gonna see if I can get these videos to line up. So it looks like At this point in the video, it looks like that it is about 0.75 seconds apart. And that's pretty synced up. Now, as we go through, there should be places where there may be a camera present in one, but not the other. And because the pixels are only in one, instead of being gray, we see this uh, quite evidently. So when we mouse over, video B becomes fully opaque and no longer transparent. So we can see this is on video B. So the camera is in the 997, but absent from video A, or else it would cancel it out and we'd only see gray. So you can see here, at this point in the video, there's quite a bit of difference, but it could only be just for a second. Now the reason that some of these are different is because the different audio takes have different lengths. So the videos aren't quite the same length. So some of this is normal, but there are places in the video where there are real differences that will just jump out at us when we're using this diff tool.